Everything's a little different and kind of a little bit weirder. His PR, his pace on his 5K is faster than his PR in three miles and two miles in cross country, which again, doesn't make a whole lot of sense given that a 5K is much further. Uh, as a freshman, he was 34th in the first league meet that he ran and he struggled and didn't make varsity at the end of the year as a freshman. And so that just hard work and dedication is, is the great thing for Brandon. This year he ended up with two wins, two second place finishes, and he is the seventh fastest ever on the NCS course for Head Royce and the fourth fastest state meet time for Head Royce. Only Isaac Tusher, Ethan Ash, and Ken Akia were ever faster. So that was quite exciting. And then my memories of Brandon is going to be just the growth from quiet freshman who doesn't say anything to at times I feel like he is my equal. And then at times I feel like he is coaching me. And so we're doing core all the time. And I, I hear the little comment, you got it, coach, you got it. And there's going to be a lasting memory I have because I haven't been in great shape until this fall and I've been running a lot more and we were on the track and I don't remember the interval, the distance or anything other than I was struggling with 150 to go and he was kind of jogging on the outside of me as he was jogging, I was racing and I was just about to quit and just have some excuse, I was tired of that and he just said, come on coach, you got this and I was just like, I did it more for him than for me at that point because it was just like, he's got my back and I, that's, that's special to me and so I thank you, Brandon, for helping me and helping the team be better.